it's a thing on are you here are you having a good morning are you celebrating yourself are you feeling beautiful in your heart are you practicing trying to invite beauty hey you hi miss manda it's just me and you right now hi <laughs> first one here hi gorgeous beauty i hope that it's it's nice to connect first thing thanks for your message earlier hi shelly good morning hi beautiful soul this is our time to come together. This is our time to practice. Um, you know, so much is happening. So much is going on. The world is changing. We're changing. Our journey is changing. And we need to come together. I said need. It's important to remember our practice, to remember um, we don't have to be the strong one all the time holding it all in, holding it all together. You know what I mean? So that's what this space is. So good morning. Hi, Kimberly. How are you today, my friend? I hope the wet and Shelly and Melissa, hi. Uh, Amanda too, I know I already said it, but you know, I hope that the weather in your heart is wonderful today. That you're doing all right. Practicing. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I've just been standing here. <laughs> sometimes I'm a little late. Sometimes I'm a little early. Today I was 10 minutes early, which is... So I just stood here and said a prayer and asked, you know, like, connect me up, sync me up, link me up, give me the message. I will just, you know, like that. I will just talk. What, what, what? And I stood here and I breathed and I relaxed and um, I don't like the message. I'm having a little resistance, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. It's kind of funny how this is starting to happen for me. So <laughs> uh, that's a little spoiler alert. Stay tuned for that. Um, Hi, Caitlin. I hope it was a good weekend. Miss Anna, I used your mug all weekend long. It's my favorite, favorite. But today, Jeff took it away from me. He said, it's got to get washed. So, because, you know, I'm just like very, I'll just rinse it and keep using it. Because what? It's me. It's mine, right? So, I love it so much. Thank you again. But today, I've got my little... Um, I think it's like a travel mug, you know, but I love it. I love the flowers on it. So hello, good morning. Hi, Mary, always happy that you're here. TJ, wow, I feel like I'm getting a little blessed here. Stuart, how is my Stuart? How's it going? Hi, hey, are you listening? Are you looking at me? Hi, Lexi. I remembered. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. So, um, you know, it's it's kind of funny. I'm gonna post this uh, title for today. Title, you know, morning. It says so. It says morning magic. I don't know. I'm this mix of homegrown and old school. That's what I think. So. I just say things that sometimes I think I must sound like, I don't know what. Hello. Hi. Hi, Stuart. So let's have a cheers. Hi. It's us. You know what? Here's to us relaxing. Here's to us softening. Here's to us being real. 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 Undefended. No agenda. No plan, no resistance. I mean, there may be all of that going on, but we could let it be. Could we let it be? So cheers to us.
Hello. And welcome, Amy. Hi, Mickey. I like big hugs to everyone. This is our posse. So before we begin, I would like to announce that Miss Amy Church had a birthday. And I suspect she showed up here without saying it on the day. So I would like to take this opportunity for this sexy lioness to sing happy birthday to you. Okay, are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. Blessings on this trip around the sun. Blessings. May it be the best year yet. I'm so glad you were born. Yeah. Yeah. So hello. Hello. Um, this morning, guess what? Jeff and I did a podcast together. One episode of Tea with Robin 104. Today's episode, it's out now. You can listen wherever. It's everywhere. <laughs> we're everywhere. And Mm, editing back a little bit. Um, I felt some a lot of feelings. Embarrassed, vulnerable. Didn't always like how I sound. You got a persona you want to project in the world? Don't always like the vulnerability pieces? Yeah, so I'm tackling some of that just by way of being myself. And... Um, the whole way. It's funny because while I talked on the podcast, I also said, I just want to be real. I just want to be myself. And that's so profound because who is yourself? Do you think like this? Who am I really? When you have these elements of yourself, like depression, anxiety, anger, jealousy, jealousy? Um, insecurity don't want to be made fun of whatever it is I'm thinking of all the things that came up for me you know how would it be if we just accepted accepted this is part of it this is part of myself and guess what are you guessing I might be on purpose as I am and all this resistance I have about who I am, maybe that's what needs to go. Maybe the, uh, thank you, Amanda. I'm like, <laughs> I'm over here trying not to say, fork, 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 fork. My head is saying that right now. <laughs> you know, like, I just wanna be real. I just wanna be myself and Let the whatever comes come and let whatever the goes goes. Let it go, you know? So um, if you listen, I hope it's good. I hope you love it. And uh, also that's what the message is about today, which is why I said I don't like the message. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Do you like being vulnerable? Do you like realizing that you're not as... Um, together or strong and do you defend against that do you resist it I wonder you know when you have feelings that are uncomfortable where do you go with that hmm? yeah so I'd love to hug myself right now because I need a hug are you gonna hug yourself with me and um, those of us practicing interested in setting an intention for the day uh, if you're doing the rules for decision with me or you're um, setting your word for the day, let's think about that. Let's call it to us. I tell you what, I just heard in my head the word mercy. <laughs> mercy. Mercy. I'll go with that. Mercy. Mercy. May we have some mercy on ourselves. 
can you say it that way, you know, for ourselves, for the way we are, for the way we judge ourselves, for the way we resist, the way we keep trying to lock ourselves into place and be this thing we want to project. Mercy. Amanda, it was lovely, important, and a good message. Love the podcast. Thank you so much, my friend. I try not to say I really needed some reassurance, but again, this is me wanting to be real. <laughs> I'm so glad to know. Yeah. And I love, uh, number one, he's really a good guy, really an amazing guy. And his own journey is inspiring. You know, the stuff he's been through, the spoken and unspoken, things he has been through is amazing the way he is. The blessing at the end that he gives, whoa. I'm like, I'm with him, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Good morning, Miss Leisha. Good morning, Michelle. So, um, feel free to share along, and if there's anything you'd like me to talk about today or offer, please do. Don't feel like you can't, because I'm talking about a topic, okay? So, this is kind of funny, but, um, oh, hey, number one kiddo. Number one kiddo is back from Alaska. Alaska. If you're friends with her here on Insta, she posted some lovely, both kiddos, actually, Kendra and Elizabeth. Are you both there today? Hi. Um, they posted the most magnificent photos, you know, and uh, I'm glad. They had to be tested before they could enter the country, uh, Alaska, because you know Alaska's a country, don't you? Yeah, all to its own. You do need that, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> they both had to get a test, COVID. I'm happy about that. They're good, they're all right. So yeah, now we can hug all the time because we already do. That gave me a hot flash making the thing about Alaska. <laughs> I said this on the podcast, like I'm a little bit interstellar in my way. You know, I'm sort of walking with God and always in tune in a different plane. And sometimes things like my math and my geographical placement is so far out. I'm like, I just call Alaska a country, for example. Crazy. So, oops. I hear number one just got home from his walk. Just kind of funny. Hi, Carrie. Good morning. How's my girl today? Shizu camera. Nice to see you, Beppin san. I hope you're having a beautiful evening. You getting ready to go to bed? I love how we connect all around the world. It's beautiful. So um, this is kind of funny, but I read this book called Jesus Calling. And I don't like to come here and put this up for obvious reasons. But, um, you know, I want to be real. And I do read this book every day. And I don't always like the message because it's a little religious-y in a weird way that uh, makes me sad. But today was a good one, and that's where I'd like to begin. Oh, good, you just got home from your walk. Yay, Carrie, that's beautiful. Let us let us move our bodies, right? I'll be going on a bike ride a little later. I love that, and I might, you never know, I might go to the beach today. I'm, I'm staying open, I'm trying not to plan all the things, you know? Mondays are typically my day off, the one day I do nothing, so to speak, but um, come here, I love this. This is every day because I love it. So, back to you and this. How would you rate this call today? Five stars? That's, that's what I think too. Um, here it is. Grow strong in your weakness. These are like daily meditations based on the Bible. Um, <laughs> feel free, you know, <sighs> grow strong in your weakness. Some of my children I've gifted with abundant strength and stamina. Others, like you, that means me. See if it fits for you. This is definitely me. 
and I did not like it. Others, like you, I have received the humble gift of frailty. Your fragility is not a punishment, nor does it indicate a lack of faith. On the contrary, weak ones, like you, <laughs> must live by faith. Depending on me to get you through the day, I am developing your ability to trust me, to lean on me, rather than on your own understanding. Your natural preference is to plan out your day, knowing what will happen when. My preference for you is to depend on me continually, trusting in me to guide you and strengthen you as needed. This is how you grow strong in your weakness. It's beautiful actually, and it's the practice. And I don't like uh, identifying with these parts of myself, yet here's my truth. I lead with that a lot. I feel sad, I feel down, I'll feel anxious, I'll feel afraid, I'll feel angry, I'll feel resentful. I'll lead with that in my day. You lead with that in your day. And you know what? This is not our essential self. But as we allow ourselves to continue to um, identify with those things we don't want, and we feel embarrassed about it, and we feel upset about it, and we feel angry, and we feel like we've done, we're bad and we've done something wrong, we compare ourselves to other people and they have all their shit together and we do not, you know, that's us relying on our own tight-butted plan. And as Amy says, let go of control. Yeah, it's always the message. Um, this is a time of letting go. And even in the middle of the night, I was listening because I've been up a little more lately again. Um, <laughs> Again, like this is not a progress report, but you know, right now I'm not sleeping super great again. Um, I'm listening to the Book of Freedom. Same damn passage, same damn passage. It's talking about um, in the chapter called Authenticity that I think it's called Day Five. It talks about how we identify with our fear, our small self, our fear, our anxiety, our plan and how we continually invest in all I need to do is like get a job or get out of debt or get my husband to not be this way or get my kids to not be that way or get myself to not be I all I need to do is lose weight and then I'll be okay all I need to do is gain another thousand followers and then I'll be on my way all I need to do is Right? Do you identify with any of that? You probably have your own. I'm just pulling examples of things I hear occasionally from people in sessions. But, um, you know, all I need to do, all I need to do, all I need to do, all I need to do. And that's us relying on ourselves. That's us relying on our ego. That's us relying on our small self. And... So it's interesting that in the, in the daily meditation book there, I'll post these in our stories later, so don't worry about it. You'll, you'll have everything you need if you wanna get the books. Um, so in that meditation, but also in the Book of Freedom from Paul, it's like they're both saying, hey, you, you need to make this step. Hey, Jeffy Pooh, do you recognize that in yourself? Because Damn, I have it. Last night, Jeff said, I said something to Jeff, which I cannot repeat because I've embarrassed myself enough today, I think. And he said, stop lying to me. And I was like, scary, fierce. He said, you are not telling the truth about yourself or your journey you're not telling the truth and you know what he was right i i picked one note do you do this one note your anxiety your story your whatever 
you pick one note and you think this is all of who I am. One thing. I need to find my Kleenex. Sorry. Number one kiddo gave me the most beautiful napkins. That's what I've been using and I just washed them all but I didn't bring them up here. Hold on. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Even if I want to be. I tell you what. I might have to use the curtains today. Whew. All right, well, I'm sorry about my sniffles then. Okay, continuing. Um, he said, stop lying to me. And I said, I don't like that. It's kind of crazy. Don't say I'm lying. But you know what? The fierceness of his message was really good because it stopped me in my tracks. So then I was listening to Paul Selig, and guess what those guides had to say? They said, you are lying. Thanks, Lexi. We can have the sniffles together. Um, so the guides too, they're like, stop lying. So Jeff, just kudos to you. Thank you, my friend, Stuart. You know, so in the book it talks about how we're leading with our small self. We're leading with our fear. We're leading with our anxiety. We're leading with our stress. I know some of you have a lot of things going on right now. Just a lot. And we lead, we lead with our stress. We lead with our upset. We lead with our judgment. And how would this practice go? I'm going to do it today. Like I say, mercy is the word. Thank you, my friends. Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> it really helps. Um, and also, I love how this is us. This is what we do here. And how amazing that we have each other. I mean, that's, wow, that's everything. Because, you know, we need it. Hi, Mads. Hi, beautiful Robin and family. That's us. So it's talking about the small self with its little upsets. And they, I know they are so big, but little upsets. You must give the divine in you permission to lead. Have you done that? I haven't done that. I haven't done it. Have you done it? Have you said, hello, divine self, please lead in my life. We've talked about it. We've made jokes about it. Um, you know, we get scared if we give our hearts to God sort of a thing, bad things will happen. But it's saying, you know, hey, hey, there's a light inside of you that is, it never extinguishes. And if you give that light in you permission to lead, you will remain yourself and you will stop leading with these fears and anxieties and worries and resistances. I have a lot of resistance. I don't know about you. My hands are out in front of me a lot, energetically speaking. And that's hard. That's a hard way to live. <laughs> yeah. Amy says, Jeff, so bold. I love what you said. Stop lying. And he said it. He got really big. Yeah. Big love. You are big love. Yeah. Thank you. Carrie says, love you. And I didn't like that message either. My ego is like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, maybe for today, it's enough to note that we can put a little check mark. Yeah, check. I have observed it. I'm there is a part of me really interested in hanging on to whatever this is, you know. But um, something happens when you keep showing up to morning magic. And something happens when you read books, spiritual books, practices, when you take things in. Um, when you read books like Paul Selig, they say, sorry, 
you may sometimes I'll be reading and it'll say, sorry, you think right now you don't like this message and you want to throw the book across the room? Well, guess what, dears? I listen on tape. Guess what, dears? You have already put this in motion. It's already happening. Divine timing is already going on. It's like, yeah, I'm on the ride. I'm on the ride and all I'm doing is playing with the toy car, trying to pump the brakes. Yeah, check. I've observed it. Check. You know, today's not the day. Today's not the day. I'm going to tackle everything, but a little bit is getting in. And could we just say thank you? Just if you're connecting a dot today, I'm going to say this prayer right now. Thank you. That was it. <laughs> thank you. See, a little snarky, little, but you know, it's going in. Thank you. <laughs> as she does that. Yeah. Thank you. Amy says, I'm going to picture Jeff saying that to me now when I get into the story. Oh, it, I should have him record it for you and send it because it's scary. I mean, he does that whole face thing. The dad, the husband, the friend, the... He's a little Woody Allen, too. He gets all cute. But, you know, so I was saying when you read things, when you do things, we recorded this podcast and I'm like, oh, God. If there was ever a week to quit the podcast, it's now because, you know, now I'm talking to somebody who's like, amazing. And then there's me. <laughs> and my crap, you know. So, yeah, we just, we have to work on it and check the box. Check, check. Your ego is doing its thing. Hi, Alexis. Happy birthday. And I hope you go to bed soon. That's late. That's so late. Thank you, too, friends. Hey, bittersweet meme. How are you, my friend? Thank you, too, Kim. So, uh, you know, here we are in all our glory. Could we just, right? Be, be so loving. Be so kind. Be so gentle. And also, something Jeff said several times to me this week, and he said it on the podcast. I tell you what. Um, at the end, I said, is there any message you want to share? And what he, what he said was so beautiful. But one of the things he said is, we're here to live the life we're in. Love you too. I do. Really, really. And I'm glad you came. Yeah. He says, we're here to live the lives we're in. It's profound. Then, of course, he does the sexy, let me recite some Hamlet for you. Let me recite a little sonnet for you, just a little. <laughs> but it's like, hey, we're here to live the life we're in. How would it change things to say, this is who I am? This is my life. Um, this path, this journey, this path, it's part of it. Yes, it's part of it. Whatever you are, however you are, even your attachment to your suffering, because, come on, let's be honest. I'm attached to my suffering. And one of the worst, horriblest truths to come out of really analyzing it is, as long as I suffer about my suffering and who I am, I don't have to risk my heart on the things I love, trying to make things work. And that's why, you know, my non-negotiable is I come here every day and I keep doing the podcast. Those are the two things I won't quit. And I try to post something every day on Instagram because otherwise, that's like my accountability. Otherwise, the booger would win. The booger in me would win. 
and I don't know where I would go. Like, what else would I do in my day? I'm not sure, but so we're here to live the life we're in. It is very profound. And thank you, Kimberly. I'm glad you like it too. Um, the it's beautiful because the guides too and Course in Miracles will talk about this occasionally and even I, even I, no, I don't mean it to sound like that. Even I occasionally will get in, get a download for um, it, like before a healing session for someone where it's like <clears throat> they made this arrangement prior to their incarnation in this lifetime. So you need to help them embrace their life. That's, wow, you know, like, do you ever think about that? Like, whatever you're, wherever you are right now, you may not have chosen that, chosen that, chosen that. It may be the essence that you are before you come in the body said, I need to um, continue my development around these things, you know? I hope that makes sense. Carrie says, thank you, Jesus, for the truth, even when we don't like it. Yeah. And I'm now thinking about the popcorn gift. Yes, I send Carrie this gift. I will post it to the stories because due to my own discomfort at sharing, um, I just, I own it. But, um, and please don't write me with advice. It's okay. You know, I'm working my own way through it. But through my sharing this book, Jesus Calling, and my stories and my concern, you know, just, you know, I put a funny gift with it. That is Jesus eating popcorn. And it's a very weird little hand. It's like a strange little hand. So it's like this. It's just, you know, the picture of Jesus. And then there's a hand going up and the jaw is moving. It's very funny. It helps. And again, this is who we are, right? Part, a little bit humor in me, a little bit goofball. Yeah. It's very profound. Again, I like that you said that, Kim. So how about a little, um, shall we do some healing? I think I've said enough today. What do you think? <laughs> I think I have said enough. <clears throat> Let's do some healing. So, you know, and I'm really digging on that moment here where I just said to you, It's never, you know, where I just said to you, we come in the body and we have a different course. The spirit has a different course. And how would it be, you know, just as a subtle suggestion today, uh, we've already checked off a few things to consider there's a being in me, there's a light in me, he or she. It has its own agenda, its own plan. And think about that. I get scared. I get scared every day about losing control, resisting, you know, what's going to happen. And then I worry too. On the other hand, I worry. So like, what the hell? I'm scared over here, but then I worry about the same things that could, you know, like I want... I'm scared of this thing happening, but over here I'm worried it's not going to happen. Huh? I know you do it, so I'm not going to even ask you because, yeah, we're the same in a lot of ways. But think about this. The spirit that you are comes in from another plane, astral plane, however you want to look at heaven or whatever. It's all good. Comes in picks you, picks you, small self you, picks you, Stuart and Amy and Kimberly and, you know, everybody here, Caitlin, Amanda, picked you, picked you, picked you, picked you, Anna, picked you. What does that change? Wow, I have goosebumps so hard right now. The back of my head is, the hairs are raising. Picked you, chose you. 
Anna, I've been reading that, thinking about that a lot since I'm reading Destiny of Souls. I recommended some books to Anna about um, life between lives, and if you're into that, this is a great book. Destiny of Souls by Michael Newton, PhD. It's a, um, if you've ever read, like, anyway, that's one of the best. There are more famous people who write books about past lives, and this is the one I feel really is helpful. You know, like it will teach you something and help you, not just be fascinating like when you were in Egypt and you were dating a pharaoh and he wanted to kill the cat with the servant in the cemetery. You know, no. I'm not that into that kind of stuff, but I want to know. My spirit self came, the oversoul, sometimes we call it, chose this self to be with in this lifetime. Could we make friends? Could we make friends? Could we talk to her or him, the soul, and say, I'm willing. That song I love so much, I surrender all, I surrender all. I don't want to surrender all. No, 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 I'm scared. And I'm not embarrassed to say that out loud, but you know what, to myself, my, the soul that's in here, that feels so different. So let's, let's ponder on that today, shall we? Amanda says, I saw a quote today that said, do things that feed your soul, not your ego, and you will be happy. Wow. I, I, I wonder if we're all being, you know, because we are traveling together every chance we've known each other for lifetimes. Those of you who feel strongly that you be here every day, every chance we've been together. Some of you I know it for sure because I know you a little more. Um, cool, right? Cool. Um, but we're probably all going to be getting messages today. That would be so nice. I said this yesterday, if we could start sharing things in our stories with that hashtag, um, with the hashtag, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Carrie says, I love that. Remember that my spirit self chose me for this adventure I'm in, that we are on. I love that. And it totally helps. It totally changes it. And for that, all of that, how it tumbled out today, starting with that quote, we, neither of us liked, Carrie, I did think about you and the journey you're on right now. And I, um, and me. And like, why am I such a frail little ninny, scared and upset and worried and obsessive? Why? Why? You know? I did it. I thought about that, but I thought, wow, you know, if I really, maybe we just uh, practice giving it to this one in inside us. Shelly, love those books, reading Wisdom of Souls now. Oh, is that one of his later, Shelly? Because I haven't read Beyond Destiny of Souls and Journey of Souls, but Wisdom of Souls sounds like his. Love Anita Morjani's book, Dying to Be Me. I recommend that one a lot to people, um, especially if they have like a illness or anything, they're healing, healing, because that was her journey. Amy says, I've been feeling that a lot lately around my kids. They chose me. Of all the mommies, they chose me. What you're saying is the next level of deservingness. That's beautiful. So let me to start a healing, because I have important things to do today. Just kidding. This is all I ever want to do, is talk to you and talk about God and talk about healing. Which is why I say, how bizarre that such a, such a scaredy cat, such a worry wart, such a, you know, how does it happen? So if the healing's not for you, do that. May we be blessed. May we be easy in our bodies. 
and love ourselves, the life we're in. I really hope you do listen to that episode and see what Jeff had to say because he's really a wise one. And I am sure if you asked him to help you, he would. If you reached out to him, he's on Instagram. He doesn't post, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Amy, your kids picked you. You are the perfect mother for them. And I look at it that way too. Like, you know, that's one of the best things. When sometimes people will write me, they'll read my earlier blog blogging. I mean, I still blog, but I mean, they'll read my early, early stuff where it's like I see, you know, my evolution has been huge. So I no longer blame my parents. I no longer am angry about them or the abuse. They, <clears throat> you know, our, our stuff together. What happened to me? Because I chose them different than saying it's my fault or I created it, but how can I use this to help me grow? Right? Like, if you've been abused, I mean, my whole, yikes. Big, big, big experience with that. All the way till I was 14. Just big, big. You know, wow. There might be something there to receiving yourself as a teacher in this lifetime here to walk with people who have also been through things like to decide to stop investing your story of I'm not ready I'm not good enough I can't do it people don't like me they don't they don't want to hear from me I have no credentials I have no earthly credentials Maybe we could stop doing that. <laughs> In so many ways, I have stopped doing that. Oh yeah. That's the one place I'm so confident is helping you. You know what I mean? Like down. I love seeing the shifts in your lives. You know, it's amazing. Yeah, big one for you in the past. <clears throat> Who am I to be doing this? Who am I? Personally speaking, by speaking, it's an interesting thing about earthly credentials. Would you like an expert who is confident, intuitive, trusting their own knowing and had some training? Or do you want the person who's just got the training and totally scared shitless and always needing to consult the manual? It's just another way to look at it, you know? Big construction day next door, by the way. Wow. I go out every morning and say a prayer for those guys. It's amazing, the work they're doing. This is a big house, the mountain next door. Who knows? It's so big. I've decided to start praying for the house too. You know, we can be upset, we can be gypped, we can be bitter, or we can go with the flow, can't we? Yay, Stuart, I'm happy. I thought I bet I'm saying this for somebody because it's kind of not exactly on topic yeah imposter syndrome you know it's so oh that's interesting Shelly it's still on that vibe yeah good title thanks for sharing by the way I have a there's a button in my um, profile here on Instagram that says resources or free resources I keep a list because if I could probably get five messages a day, what book would you recommend for this or that? And so I've started 
compiling a database of books. It's not super huge yet, but anytime on the podcast I mention a book, I remember to go put it in this list so you can um, get these recommendations there, you know? Yeah. Just so I can at least, I'm helping myself not have to answer so much stuff that I've already, you know, answered. Oh, organized trying Stuart imposter syndrome how would it be to say hey ha huh. I mean maybe it's not you you're even talking about so feel free I'm just gonna use that example though how would it be to be like hey this is me I'm here this is me I'm amazing people love me and just like I'm in a trust what comes through. I'm going to trust what friends say about me. I'm going to trust the guidance. I'm going to trust the love. I'm going to trust this mirroring. It's like you're my mirror staring back at me. And we're meant to be. We're on purpose. We're on a plan. And I guess Jeff was right. Stop lying, you know? I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm not that, but I'm not that, but I'm not. Stop lying. You're lying to me. He had the finger out. Mads, I'm so glad. All right. Shall we do the tuning forks today. We could go a couple ways. Tuning forks or the singing ball or both. You know. I hope you're going to have the most and the most amazing day. I feel so good right now. Make sure I get on my bicycle and ride today. There was an interesting point in the Paul Selig book, because I know a lot of us are interested in eating and diet and weight loss and health and fitness and, you know, that stuff. Hey, thank you, Kimberly. That's so sweet. I really like hearing, I really take that in. Thank you. I'm so glad somebody says thank you every day. That's a place I really have to work on sometimes when people don't thank me. They ask me for help and then they don't respond to even say thank you. Um, woo, it's a hard one for me still. Um, so thank you, I appreciate it. But uh, the guides said, <laughs> now I, this wasn't a ploy to get all the thank yous, but thank you, thank you, Tari. Um, they said, you have a divine self inside. You need to consult the divine self what it needs to eat every day. There is no diet anybody needs to be following. We need to be listening to her. And I've known that all along. You know? And I hope you do too. Because when you're like, I'm a fat pig, I'm disgusting, or I need to gain weight. I need to get in shape that way, you know, or whatever. Or you gotta talk to the inner being. You gotta ask him or her what it needs. Thanks, you guys. I promise it wasn't a ploy. I promise it wasn't. But I love hearing thank you. Also, you know, the cool thing about expressing gratitude, if you don't say thank you, let's say somebody gives you a gift or you ask for help and then they take the time and help you and you don't say thank you, you don't acknowledge it either. I'm saying in yourself, thank, wow, thank you. I didn't like that. I didn't like the way they said it. I didn't. That's not receiving. Bitte sehr, meine Dame. Thank you, friends. I thank you. That's why I thank you. Thank you for being here. I thank you every day. Thank you for your awesome sauce. Thank you. So. Always, I'm here for you. Healing sessions. 
There's a beautiful course up. I'll be doing a healing circle again in a, probably three weeks. If you'd like to join me for that, there are ways. And always you can support the work I do. There's a link in the profile. So I'm going to ring the bell. Have a beautiful day. You know, keep shining. You're welcome, honey. Always, you can have more. You can come up. That's beautiful, Amy. Yes, Tari, is there a time? Will you message me? Because... Time of day might be good to know. Thank you. Love Posse Strong. That's the hashtag I've been trying. Mm. Thank you too, Stuart. Always. You're one person, Stuart. A lot of you here are, so don't take this personally. But Stuart, you're one person that has really helped me step out. Don't know if you knew it. Thank you, Mickey. We need more cowbell. Carrie's gonna love that you said that. I got this. I hope you have a beautiful day, friends. Would somebody type now? I'm gonna say a prayer for you. <laughs> God bless my friend, the sparkle, the light, the beauty. So perfect. So on point. Please help them receive and let it be exactly as it is, how it is. Amen. I have my eyes closed, dang it. I'm going to just have to trust. Now, be well. I see you in the morning.